Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is Tom Keane coming to you from Charleston. I was asked by Dr. David Crawford to provide a commentary on the recent pronounced trial. Um, I'm sure most of the listeners are very familiar with it. It was uh, a trial looking at the cardiovascular safety of degoretics versus Nuprolide in patients with prostate cancer. And uh, it was a prospective trial to compare the effect of a GnRH antagonist, namely degoretics, with the GnRH agonist Nuprolide on adjudicated cardiovascular events at one year in patients with prostate cancer and established atherosclerotic disease. Now, I should stress that these patients were under the care of a cardiologist and uh, they remained under their care during the trial. Again, the results contrast with a more with the recent trial, the HERO trial, which looked at an oral antagonist versus an agonist and found a significant advantage in terms of cardiovascular complications favoring the antagonist. Currently, there is another trial, the Margal trial, which is embedded in the radical trial in Canada. Dr. Margal has published a series of 81 patients, which again is a phase two trial, showing a similar advantage in terms of the antagonist. Again, it was unfortunate that the trial was cut short. And in fact, it was originally meant to have approximately 900 patients, but it ended up with about 545 out of the 900 participants being included in the trial. Um, and the trial was based on prior data showing that the one-year NACE rates uh, were estimated to be 5.1% versus 10.2% for degorelics against luprolide, respectively. Now, there was a significant, uh, sorry, the numbers were significantly less in this trial than we have seen in other trials. And that may be because uh, in this trial, the patients were under a cardiologist already and remained under a cardiologist uh, during the uh, trial itself. Uh, they were on uh, appropriate medications. And uh, when we look at most of the trials that have shown significant differences between the agonist and the antagonist, they've been, they have been either real world trials, registry trials, or compilations of studies. When we look at randomized control trials, there have been uh, virtually none which have shown a significant difference. Um, and that is primarily because during the running of randomized control trials, patients with cardiovascular disease tended to be excluded. Now, obviously, uh, this remains a very contentious event or a, a very contentious subject. My own belief is that it cannot be good for you to have a surge in testosterone um, when you have advanced prostate cancer. Uh, prior to being rendered castrate. And that's what happens with the agonists. The antagonists, on the other hand, uh, render castration within two to three days. And on looking at the pronounced trial, it was basically meant to have 800 or 900 patients who were planned to be included in it. it uh, they closed the trial with 545 patients accrued. The number of MACE events, both on the antagonist and the agonist sides, were surprisingly low and there was no significant difference. What does this mean going forward? Well, I don't think we have the answer yet. I do think that if we're able to provide excellent cardiac care for patients who are on androgen deprivation therapy, then it could be that there's not going to be any difference for patients who are receiving the appropriate care. Um, however, that's not going to be possible uh, throughout the world. And I do feel that the antagonists um, are less cardiotoxic. I think there's a lot of studies out there which would support those findings. Um, again, one of the most important ones was the, was the Albertson study published in 2014. But again, that was a compilation of six studies. So the jury's still out. Um, and I think we'll just have to wait and see if there can be another trial which might be run. And um, maybe it would not have such a complex entry criteria. And we might just run patients with similar disease, one getting an agonist, one getting the antagonist, antagonist and see where we go from there. But the bottom line is I don't have the answer, but I know I'm biased towards the antagonist because of their mechanism of action and because of most of the data, which again is not definitive, but it does support the antagonist. That's, thank you very much for listening. This is just my personal opinion. Mm -hmm.